How you doing, Mr. DJ? Back on the countdown. I am counting down Billboard's Hot 100, June the 15th, 1963. We are halfway there to number one. At number 50, a song that will go to number one later that summer. Jumping 31 notches from number 81. It debuted at 81 the previous week on the Hot 100. Easier said than done by the Essex. The Essex, they were in the military when they made this record. Four, it might have been three, but four guy, three or four guys in the Marine Corps and one woman. The woman was Anita Humes, and she was discovered singing at a non-commissioned officer's club. They formed a group. They recorded some demos. They handed the demos to a guy named George Goldner. George Goldner... He had two record labels, and they were Gone and Ann. But both those record labels were about to be absorbed into Roulette, which was a big record label, significant record label back in the 50s and 60s. George Goldner listened to the demos. He liked what he heard, but he wanted something more upbeat. The group turned to another Marine. His name was William Linton. And along with a guy named Larry Huff, they wrote the song Easier Said Than Done. The group recorded Easier Said Than Done as a favor to Larry, since he is so kind enough to write the song for them, but they didn't like Easier Said Than Done. The other demos that they made, there were other songs they wanted to put on the album that they liked a lot better. And one of those songs was called uh, Are You Going My Way? That was going to be the A-side. Easier said than done to be. At the recording session, the group spent a lot of time on Are You Going My Way? So much time on it that when it came to doing Easier Said Than Done, they had a few minutes left in the recording session and they just rushed right through it. Easier said than done. As a matter of fact, that they went through it so quickly that later on, uh, bits and pieces of, of Easier Said Than Done had to be spliced together to make a complete song. And this has happened so many times. I, <laughs> it's almost laughable. The song that you think is the A side, the the A side the, is going to be the hit, right? It doesn't do diddly squat. The DJ will turn over the 45 and play the B side, and the B side becomes the hit. That's what happened to Easier Said Than Done. A song that group didn't like goes to number one on Billboard's Hot 100. And it's at number 50 on Billboard's Hot 100 the week of June 15, 1963.